And do you want to do the the uh, more authentic way for us, just so we can maybe attempt it? In Icelandic. Yeah, Icelandic. Sunna Davidsdóttir. I'm not going to be able to say that. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. But say so David. David. David Stochter. David Stochter. I'll do my best. Here we go. We are back here giving you all access to Invicta FC 22 this Saturday night, UFC Fight Pass. I have been talking all day about the strawweight matchups we have, and another one to keep your eyes on is Mallory Martin, the newcomer, taking on the Invicta FC veteran Suna David's daughter. I can't even try. Yeah, it's good. Not bad? Not bad. All right. I'm, I'm going to have to go with Suna David's daughter on the broadcast Sounds good because to me. Uh, uh, Sounds good. it just doesn't work the way I want it to. <laughs> but uh, welcome back to Invicta. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm great. You're, ta you. you're, you're taking on uh, Mallory Martin. Last time we saw you, you got a decision uh, victory in your Invicta FC debut over Ashley Greenway. Uh, talk about that experience. Did you, uh, did you enjoy fighting for Invicta in your first time, and, and what's it like to be back? Yeah, my first time here was amazing, and I've been wanting to, I mean, I've been dreaming about being here for a really long time. And Ashley Greenway, she was a good opponent, and it was a great fight. Uh, I wanted to finish that fight, of course. I think everybody, every fighter is looking to finish their fights. You never want to leave it up to the judges. But it went the whole three rounds. And that was a good experience, too, because I've never done five-minute rounds. And that was for the first time. I felt great the whole time and good energy. And, of course, it was like, uh, there was like, also new to me, there was a lot of cameras and stuff. And, sure. But it was good to have that experience and do the three rounds and and I was really happy just like everything about it and I love Invicta they treat their fighters really good and and I feel good when I'm here and around all of, all of you and it's amazing it was amazing and I feel great to be back it's uh, it's awesome the, the amateur rules I, I think throughout the world vary from state to state country to country um, you mentioned that you never fought the five minute rounds before um, I, I assume you were fighting three minute rounds before as an amateur is that what it was yeah three yeah. minute rounds and and I fought like uh, also two minute rounds I fought boxing and Muay Thai too sure and uh, yeah and you've grappled um, before obviously those those rounds can be longer you can grapple for longer than five minutes at a time yeah but uh, it's different in a fight right like fighting in a cage and yeah. using all aspects of There's combat a lot, thing, a lot more going on in the for sure. MMA fight so now that you know that you can go 15 minutes like is that a weight off your shoulders at all or does it build confidence knowing that hey you know I can you know put my foot on the gas pedal for 15 minutes and, and be fine at the other side uh, 15 minutes, I, I'm, you can do a lot of things in that time. And, and, and uh, I mean, 15 minutes or whatever, you know, two minutes, three minutes, you sure. know, you do whatever you can in that time and, and you know, m make the most of the time. So five minutes or, you know, three minutes, whatever, I'll take it and do my best and leave it all in there. Sure. Looking at your opponent, Mallory Martin, um, she makes her Invicta FC debut. Um, she's training out of Thailand and, and Phuket with the uh, Tiger Muay Thai uh, school. Have you been able to look at any tape on her and, and figure out? Uh, like, are you, are you much of a game planner? Uh, actually, I I uh, don't do that. I, I look at my opponent. I, I mean, first when I find out who my opponent is, I t take of course I take a look and uh, I see what the opponent is about. And that's it. Then I'm just focusing my own own game, and you know a lot of things can change in that preparation. I mean, if if anything happens, if your ch opponent changes, or you know, I just I don't want to get hung up on what my opponent is doing. I mean, if I see something, she could be t doing something totally different, or and no matter who it is, I mean, I'm gonna probably fight a lot of 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 girls, and and who it is, or or. Whatever I'm, I'm, I'm here for myself, and I, in training, I focus on what I'm doing, and that, that's my, that's my game. Yeah, you got to fight your game, and uh, yeah. you know, uh, be, be efficient with it. Looking at this fight, you know, she, she's training with the Muay Thai gym, um, but she's a well-rounded mixed martial artist, and um, you know, looking at your last fight uh, and, and what you did in it, and, and looking at her style, 
it, it does become apparent, I think, pretty quickly that this fight, when it's in the clinch, can be very, very important. That clinch positioning and, and that clinch battle may dictate, you know, who gets to fight the way that they want to. W what do you think about the clinch in, in this fight? Do you think that you'll have success there? Is that going to be your world? Uh, any situation. I'm, I feel good in any situation. I love to bang. I, I feel good in the clinch and, and on the ground. I'm, I'm happy on the ground and I'm confident and I feel good. And sure. And so, uh, with Mallory Martin, the thing about her, I think that we have a lot of things in common. I actually spent four months in the same gym she's training at, at she's been training at, at Tiger. Right. So that was my home away from home for four months, uh, wow. the year 2013. And in that year, I actually started looking at Invicta for the first time, before knowing anything about Invicta. And that was when I took a decision, and I started dreaming about being a part of Invicta for the first time. I, I you know, got into into that, and and I I realized, you know, this is something I want to do in the future. Now I'm here, and and uh, I want to make the most of it. And uh, and I I th don't think that nobody can stop me on reaching my goal. Sure. Let's let's talk about your time in Thailand for a brief moment, because you know, being in that gym when you're when you're in a gym, you make a lot of relationships and in. People know you and, and know all your strengths and weaknesses uh, when it comes to fighting. She's going to have some of the same coaches that you had. I mean, how how much of a benefit is that for her to have knowledge, you know, from her camp of oh, this this is Suna. We know that Suna's good at this. We know that you know you can attack here. It's been a while since I was in Thailand, and and I'm definitely going to show them that I have come a long, long way since then. And uh, what they know about me is that I am very, uh, very motivated and I have a big heart and I keep pushing forward. So if that's, a, if that's something that they're telling her, then, then it's, that's fine by me. But like I said, I've come a long way since back then and I've, uh, I've been you know, very dedicated in the gym and I, I'm working on myself mentally and, and physically and I have good coaches and good team around me. I've never been stronger than I am now, and and I've never been as more as determined I am as I am right now. And well, like I said, nobody and nothing can stop me. Well, we're excited to see you back here, Suna. Appreciate the time. Sorry, I can't say D David's daughter. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yes. that's actually really good. I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, well, well, excited to see you back here on Saturday night, and uh, best of luck. Thank you, sir. It's good to be back. Awesome, thank you, appreciate it.